Hey everyone, this is Colton Locke, aka Funtivity Colton here with another Single Tracks gear review. Today we are out on a beautiful Denver afternoon playing in the snow on the new 2017 Fuji Rakan. Let's check it out. Fuji has made some big changes for 2017 with the Rakan. Specifically, that this bike is now capable of running both 27.5 plus or 29er wheel sets. Aside from offering additional wheel sizes, Fuji really hit a home run with the components on this build kit. The Rakan 3.1 is rocking 120 millimeter Fox 34 up front with a 120 millimeter Fox float Evol in the rear, as well as a Fox Transfer Stealth 125 millimeter dropper, all three of which have gold Kashima coating. The bike is set up with SRAM X1 1x11 drive terrain with Guide RS 180 millimeter hydraulic brakes. The 29er model I'm riding here is set up with 29 by 2.35 inch Schwalbe knobby neck tires set up on DT Swiss M1700s and is set up with Boost 148 by 12 rear hubs and Boost 110 by 15 front hubs. The Rakan is set up with a 69 degree head tube angle as well as a 449.5 millimeter chainstay which makes for a really nimble, fun ride. If you look a little bit closer at the chainstay, you'll notice a pivot about midway through. That's Fuji's M-Link or Mid-Link suspension system. The thought behind putting a pivot at this location is that it provides the best of both long and short link systems. And the four bars on the rear triangle make for a nice stiff swing arm. The bike is set up with internal routing for a nice clean look and is set up with a bottle mount on the bottom of the down tube. The Rakan frame is made of A6 SL alloy and this model weighs in at 29.4 pounds. This rig is a little bit expensive at $4,949. Entry level models start at $2,099 and if you're looking at the 3.1 27.5 plus model, you're looking at $4,999. Fuji really nailed it with this bike considering it's a 120 millimeter cross country trail bike. The M-Link suspension is really nice and stiff, it climbs really well and is extremely efficient. This bike isn't as plush as some models I've ridden, but if you were to get on the 27.5 plus model rather than the 29, I think that that would make up for it. This bike is outfitted with a lockout for the front suspension, which I typically love, but in this situation, it didn't work quite right for me. I continuously bumped the button with my thumb, which means it was locking and unlocking periodically throughout the ride. I could be smashing up an uphill and I would hit it not knowing it and come to the top, find out that I was unlocked. Same situation on the down, I'd be pounding down a downhill, come to the bottom to find out that I was locked out and that would explain why it was such a rough ride. The cockpit of this bike and I just plain didn't get along, and that's one thing I would switch out if I was gonna continue riding this. The grips just didn't feel right to my hands. They've got a funny bump right in the middle of the grip that I've never seen before. I don't know if they're going for an ergonomic style or what, but it just plain simply made my hands sore, and that is the first thing I would change out about this rig. That being said, I really loved the Rakan. I'd classify this bike as a heavier duty cross country or maybe even a light trail bike. The M-Link suspension feels really efficient and really great on those long climbs, which means this rig is perfect for those long haul mountain days. The suspension wasn't quite as plush as some rigs I've ridden recently, but slap the 27.5 plus tires on there and this bike will handle the chunk just fine. The Rakan is definitely a fun bike to ride. It's responsive and nimble and pops off of rocks nice and easy and you can really push fast and hard into the corners. I think 27.5 plus 29er conversion bikes are the thing of 2017 and if you haven't been on one, you need to check one out because it is extremely fun. So thanks for hanging out and checking out the Fuji Recon with us today. Be sure to head over to singletracks.com for a whole bunch more great content and of course follow me on Instagram and Strava at Funtivity Colton. Click this link right up here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. If you're curious about these funny orange pedals. I'll link right here a video from a couple weeks ago in case you missed it. It's the HT T1s. Great set of pedal if you're looking for an alternative to the Shimano or Crank Brothers Clickless Dynasty. 
Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll catch you guys on the trail.